Hello, dear friends. Uh, today, we would like to introduce you the course of the lectures on consciousness structuring by Grigory Kravavoy, which includes the technologies of macro salvation from a possible global catastrophe, the technologies of restoration and control of any events from the own consciousness. Today, we'll show one of the technologies of macro salvation from the lecture course on consciousness structuring. This technology can be also used for possible fires, any other problems and disasters. The presentation of the information will take place step by step as follows. We'll be reading the passage from the text of the lecture, and then there would be the explanation and a slide, then the next passage, explanation, and so on. Uh, so, the work uh, of Grigory Kravavoy, Consciousness Structuring, Preventing a Possible Global Catastrophe by the Technology of a Visual Signal Conversion, Controlling Access to Any Point of Space-Time, was given on July 26, 2001, and it was chosen particularly for this presentation. Uh, I quote, I give the technology in this lecture on my system of salvation and harmonious development. As for the first part, it is the prevention of a possible global catastrophe, the technology that takes into account the possibility of converting the visual signal. In fact, that is what you see at the perception level, the possibility of transmitting that signal across the macro area. Actually, that is in principle access to any point of space-time, the controlling access. It turns out that by this technology, we will have access to any point of space-time to transmit the signal across the macro area. We will have the possibility to convert the visual signal. In accordance with this theme, the principle will be as following. It means that when you contemplate visually, for example, any object of information, well, suppose you see a person coming to you, or when you view due to the thought, or see the image, for example, through clairvoyance, then all these areas of perception, for example, can be marked by a certain area, in the area A. That is everything that is perceived as a visual level of information. From the author's text, it follows that the principle of the object of information designation is as follows. Suppose, uh, you, supposedly you see a person or you see an image through thinking or clairvoyance. For example, see a fire somewhere or any adverse event then these areas of perception can be designated as a certain area in the zone uh, area A. Let's just look at a specific example. There is a walking person and it means you see him physically. So the first element of this level of control is that you need to identify the outer area in the physical space near him. That is, you as if assign just some external space nearby this person. Well, it's a kind of a complex, similar probably to a cone there, or a hemisphere. It might be a sphere, everyone can have it randomly. You make the maximum concentration of your consciousness in this area, inside this area. So, and the slide shows that the first control option is to see the information visually. The first element of this level is to identify the external area in the physical space near the control object. And secondly, you make uh, the maximum concentration of your consciousness in this area. So, and if I'm talking about the physical area now, Grigory Grabova writes, it's rather clear because you are doing the maximum concentration of consciousness. For example, near this person within the area you've assigned and that the concentration of consciousness is such that it reaches almost any level of control, which means that you can reach virtually any point of control space. And that's exactly the kind of concentration 
That is the goal of the concentration, to reach any point of control space through the concentration. For example, near the image of visible at the physical level. Firstly, we see the object in our perception as shown in the slide. That is, we see in the physical space. We designate uh, the object, area A. Allocate the external area and concentrate so that the concentration reaches any point of space-time in this controlled area. That is, the optical beam reaches firstly the external area then illuminates and distributes the information of the control object, that is of the area A, in the area of macro salvation. In fact, there is no possible global catastrophe in the area A. The concentration reaches any point of space-time in this controllable area. It is the transformation of the information of the object in order to prevent a possible global catastrophe. So uh, the next slide shows an example with fire extinguishing. The purpose of the concentration is also to access any point of control space through the concentration, for example, near the image visible at the physical level. We know and understand that the transformation of information from the object where there is a fire is to make the fire disappear, distinguish. The level of high concentration restores the object of information. That is, there is a prevention of a possible global catastrophe. So the next slide states, if this area is mental, that is you, for example, have allocated some fragment of thinking, and in fact, it began the same practice as if near this area, actually, the principle is the same. You make such a high concentration of consciousness that you reach control anywhere in space and time due to your control goal. And as for the second control option, uh, that is working in the area of thinking, that is we allocate some fragment of thinking. We also designate the object with the area A as it was said at the beginning of the lecture. Allocate the external area and make such a high concentration of your consciousness that it reaches any point of space-time in this controlled area. Next slide, that is, the optical beam reaches firstly the external area, then by increasing in the concentration of consciousness, it reaches any point of information of the control object. The area A is a control object. In fact, each point of the area A is transferred into the area of prevention, a possible global catastrophe, due to the high concentration of consciousness. Grigory Grabovoy states, the important difference here is that, first of all, you must assign the distance between this area and the place of your concentration. That is, it must be the same distance modeled by you. And the second difference is that the area of the concentration and the area, such as the light area from the area of your thinking, these areas must be different sized just in the geometric perception. That is, in principle, you must make the sphere of your concentration, for example, bigger in volume compared to the area that means an optical signal in your thinking. And the next uh, slide uh, shows the area of concentration should be larger than the area that means an optical signal in your thinking. Next, next slide. Control with a physical image of man in the area of thinking is exactly the same as with any other object of information in the field of thinking. It is also necessary to set the distance between the area of control and the place of our 
our concentration. Uh, I quote, if for example, this area is clairvoyant, then with your clairvoyance in terms of the fact that there are some, let's say, physical images, well, there is a tree, a person or some area from, as an option, such as that you see through clairvoyance some particular physical area, then the concentration occurs right on the edge of that area. It's a kind of a screen that as if rolls on you and you can see that. In the clairvoyance, you can look locally nearby yourself and consider, well, some peculiar hemisphere. It is like a wave which can press through your perception in the form of an image. Next slide. The third control option is a practice with clairvoyance. The concentration of consciousness occurs right on the border of this area, that is on a kind of a hemisphere which presses through your perception in the form of an image at high concentration. And uh, that is a fragment from the work. And then it turns out that this image is not only the way of your thinking, but it exists in the macro collective consciousness. Here I have introduced the term now, it is somewhat new term in the sense that there is a concept of collective consciousness, for example, which implies that your personal thinking is also a part of collective consciousness. But macro collective consciousness is something that let's say many people know about it. And for example, the physical image or the level of a physical ordinary reality are the elements of macro collective consciousness. Then when you work with macro collective consciousness, the concentration is actually at the front of the wave, the optical wave. The next slide shows that it turns out that it is enough to know that the level of physical common reality is the elements of macro collective consciousness. When we work with the macro collective consciousness, then the concentration is actually at the front of the optical wave as shown in the slide. I quote, so that is, I in principle distributed now, well, let's say three levels of working practice with three different levels of perception. For sure, you can find some more areas of yours there, but in principle, these three levels at the maximum concentration of consciousness in the area I mentioned for access through the macro salvation system on the system of preventing a possible global catastrophe. They allow you actually to carry out control at the level which is quite real that you do not allow macro destruction. And so we can finalize that there are three levels uh, of the system on prevention of possible global catastrophe with the maximum concentration of consciousness. The first one, conversion of a visual signal in the physical space. The second one, control in the area of thinking. And the third one, control in the area of clairvoyance. And we finalized with the um, nice fragment from the teachings of Grigori Krabapoe. The logical principle of this approach is that you make the maximum concentration so high that you do any area perceived by you to be stable. That is, this level of concentration firstly revitalizes or restores the object of information there in relation to which you concentrate. And it can be used also, for example, for self-restoration and self-regeneration. Next slide. The technology of Grigori Grabovoy on the system of salvation and harmonious development allows you to have access to any point of space-time and controlling access to prevent a possible global catastrophe. It is clear that the level of recovery and restoration of the information object is achieved at the maximum high concentration. The achieved level of high concentration can be used for personal recovery and regeneration. 
So we would like to express gratitude to Grigori Krabavoy for the macro salvation technology and for the given knowledge. We are thankful to everyone who uses this knowledge. Thank you, Irina Makrushina, for translating the text.